growing up a lifelong baseball fan and when I realized that at a fairly young age that I was different than others that I played baseball with, uh, there was a time when I thought uh, I'm going to have to pursue a job that takes me away from, from my love. And I even thought that I'd, I'd have to stop playing. And to, to sit here all these years later and, and have a position in the game I grew up uh, loving, this is literally a dream job. This is the public coming out party. Why are we here today? I mean, why is it time now? For me, the decision was uh, easy. Uh, over the last couple of years, I've read the articles uh, of some very brave individuals who have stepped up and, and come out publicly. Seeing you know, the, the positive reaction, uh, I thought this was the right time. Well, and Eric told me that you are a big reason why we are here today because you have not pushed him to do this, but encouraged him when he's ready to talk publicly about this. What does it mean to you to be here with Eric as he does that? It's not just about me, it's really about the whole Dodger organization. This is 2015. The world should be in a place where it's not about how you live your life. It's, it, it has to be more about your character, the content of your character. When you are uh, a gay man working in a, a predominantly perceived straight world, there is a, a feeling that it, it's not an open environment, that professional sports and Major League Baseball is somewhere where you have to live in secret. I haven't really had to, to live that life. I've got Lon and, and others inside the Dodgers who have not only uh, supported me when I said to them that I thought this was the right time, they've been by my side the entire time and, and have been beyond supportive and, and, and encouraging me uh, to do what, uh, what I thought was right. We're at Dodger Stadium. The Dodgers have a long history of these kinds of things, embracing diversity, embracing inclusion of all people. What about this team has made this team so far in, in front of these issues for, for decades? Obviously, neither one of us was here when Jackie Robinson became a player. I think it's just ingrained in the team, in the, in the notion of this is the right thing to do in life. Uh, we want to make it a great place for people who, to, to watch a sporting event, and we want it to be inclusive for everybody. What do you tell a kid who's gay, who's a senior in college right now, or just getting his MBA, and wants to get into sports? Can he be out? I mean, you're established. Can somebody just entering sports be out? A absolutely. I mean, I think the, the world has changed, uh, and the world continues to change. There are a lot of people out there who, who really want, some, want the best person for the job. They want you to, you know, be able to, to deliver on whatever the, the job is. So I encourage people to chase the dream if that's what they want to do. If there's a kid who is in the same position I was at 15 and 16 years old, who realizes now that they have an opportunity to pursue a job in professional sports or baseball, then it's worth it. If one kid is impacted, then it's worth it.